All right, what's up, Rangeview students, parents, and guardians? My name is Corey Mack, and I am teaching ninth and 10th grade social studies this year at Rangeview. So before I jump into all the courses and give you a general sense as to what you're gonna be studying this year, I thought it would be important to tell you a little bit about myself. So I was born in Connecticut and raised in Connecticut, and I just recently moved to Colorado in October of 2020. Uh, the reason being, my fiance and I, we are both lovers of the outdoors. We love skiing, we love backpacking, and pretty much anything else that you can do in the mountains. So we we're just looking for a general change of lifestyle because Connecticut wasn't doing it for us. And we certainly found that change in Colorado and are loving it. Prior to moving to Colorado, I did teach two years of middle school and five years of high school in Connecticut. And once I moved out here, I taught for a year up at Horizon High School in Thornton before being hired on by the awesome team at Rangeview. And I'm super psyched to get started there this year. With that said, let's move on to the courses that I will be teaching and that you will be taking. So our ninth graders, you are going to be taking geography and we're gonna be focusing on a variety of different units this year, including migration, globalization, natural resources, uh, human rights, just to name a few. And I'm hoping to bring in other topics into the classroom that you're all interested in as well. But by the end of the year, what I am hoping that all of you gain is a deep awareness and understanding of the interdependence of the different regions and topics that we study throughout the year. Now, moving on to our sophomores, you will be taking U.S. history and you're going to be embarking on a chronological journey through U.S. history, starting with Reconstruction and going all the way up into the modern era. Now, in addition to all the content that we're going to be delving into, you're also going to be tracking and evaluating the evolution of a variety of different American ideals, including democracy, rights, liberty, opportunity, and equality. Now, Regardless of the course that you are going to be taking, there is a commonality amongst both of them. So you are all going to be asked to develop your own interpretations of events of the past, as well as things that are currently happening in the present. And the way you're going to be doing that is by analyzing data sets, as well as historical documents, specifically primary and secondary sources. And if you're unsure, of what those things are or how to do that. Don't worry about it, that's why I'm here. I'm gonna teach you that process and I'm gonna guide you along step by step. So with that said, as we do begin our courses, it's important to know that all assignments and announcements are all gonna be given in class. A lot of information is going to be delivered in class. It's important that you're paying attention, but I totally understand if you miss a day or if you're going to the bathroom and you miss a little chunk during class, you're gonna be able to find all of that information that was delivered in class on Google Classroom, okay? So if you find yourself a little confused, you can always check there to see if there are any things that you are missing. If you're still a little bit confused though, don't hesitate to reach out to me, okay? Kids, you can pop in at the end of class, you can pop in at the end of the day, but if you're home and you're totally confused, don't hesitate to send me an email. You're not gonna be able to reach me in my office line once we're all home. So email is the best after hours. Uh, during the school day, parents, guardians, you can always call me. Uh, all of that information is going to be on the syllabus, which is gonna be posted in Google Classroom. So once that's up there, make sure you download that file, keep it for future reference, just in case you need to get in touch with me. All right, folks, I'm super excited for the new year. I'm looking forward to meeting each and every one of you. And have a great day.